Every night as the curtain rises at Theater Under the Stars, audiences are dazzled by some of the best talent in the country. The acting, the music, the set design, and the costumes rival even the best Broadway productions. It takes a lot of hard work behind the scenes to make it happen. In the costume shop, a small army of folks are busy measuring, cutting, stitching, and beading hundreds of costumes throughout the year. One of those workers is Rachel Moran. I've always liked fashion design. From a very young age, Rachel discovered she has a passion for working in theater. She pays careful attention to detail, creating costumes that fit like a glove. When I was 10 years old, I was drawing comics. I started drawing figures then like drawing the human figure then. What started as a simple hobby helped Rachel realize she had a knack for wardrobe design. Now, as she finishes up her education at HCC, the costume shop at Theater Under the Stars has become like a second home. Throughout her life, Rachel has worked hard to break through barriers. Well, I was diagnosed with autism when I was two years old. An early diagnosis meant Rachel's parents were able to access the proper education and care to help her thrive. I was always good with math, too, so I, I, was, I made all A's in high school with math. In addition to her skills in the costume shop, Rachel has had several acting roles on stage, including... The Wizard of Oz is the Wicked Witch of the West. You were the Wicked Witch of the West? Yes. <laughs> How was that? It was very good, my pretties. <laughs> it sounds like a fun role to play. Were you convincing as a mean witch? I was very convincing, honestly. Very convincing? <laughs> I scared the bejesus out of everybody. Excuse my French. <laughs> and in Hansel and Gretel, she played the gingerbread witch. Why are you getting all these witch roles? Because I had a little bit of a funny side, and the way I laughed was kind of scary sometimes. <laughs> That's awesome. Her attention to detail is amazing. Colleen Grady, the Tut's costume shop manager, first met Rachel about a year ago. She came to us through the Monarch School, and she just came down looking to do an internship. And then once she finished the internship, we decided we would hire her on part-time as she could handle with her schoolwork. Of course, that comes first. And she's just been a great asset. And she is incredible at pattern making and the detail of the math work and the making sure that the patterns are going to fit the body that they're being made for. And that's actually a skill that not a lot of people are really great at. Um, they're, they're few and far between, really. That's, a, that's sort of a, a specialized skill. So she, I soon discovered, she really, her forte is pattern making for sure. And she doesn't just add technical skills to the team, she adds unexpected doses of humor. She's very funny, and it sort of comes a little bit out of, she'll have a zinger sort of out of nowhere. It's like you think you're just chatting along and you might say something and then she, she'll, you know, throw a zinger in there and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, she's pretty, she's pretty funny. You guys are like a family. Here. Oh yeah, absolutely. We are totally a family down here. People from all walks of life are welcome at Theater Under the Stars. Why is inclusion such an important part of what Tuts believes in? Well, I think it's, I mean, theater is for everybody, and, and, and you can all, everybody can learn, whether you're working in theater or you're coming to see theater, it's just important because we do collaborate on so many things, so we want to include everybody in that collaboration. Rachel has a lifetime of dreams she's already set out to accomplish. I really want to do a clothing line one day. That is fantastic. And she's a believer of spreading love and acceptance. What types of things do you wish, Rachel, other people better understood about people like yourself, people living with autism? We're just like everybody else. We want, we want a, um, a career we want. We want to be understood. We're just like everybody else. Everybody wants to be understood. Everybody wants a career. Everybody, they want to fit in. Everybody wants to fit in, so just embrace everybody, no matter who, who they are. Just don't judge. Don't judge yeah. based on what you see, no matter the dis disability. Yeah. It seems like you fit in here. Yeah, I love the people here. They're all quirky, and I love them. <laughs> 
You seem like you're a little quirky, too. Yes, she is my pretty. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I love her. Uh, yeah, that unexpected little personality, She's the amazing. humor. She was great, and that costume shop staff really are like family. By the way, Rachel does plan to graduate next year. In the meantime, she'll continue using her skills to create those beautiful costumes there at Theater Under the Stars. What a great behind-the-scenes piece. I love that, and getting to know her and what goes in to all of that. It's so fantastic. A lot of work. Well done.